scary illustrations grace the covers of magazines and toy packages. So did you ever wonder what kind of person creates those illustrations? Well, Tammy Arinder takes us to Gallatin to meet an award-winning illustrator who's famous for both scary and spiritual drawings. Jeff Preston can be pretty scary. Well, not the man, but his masterpieces. He's an artist who creates the frightening, freaky, and sometimes funny illustrations on a blank canvas. Does I think I have a, a little bit more natural flair for some of the comedy, because that's just my personality. I think that comes out in a lot of stuff. But at the same time, I love just creeping people out, you know, making them shiver. Preston is an illustrator, one who draws or paints for commercial publications. You're working basically to sell a product, tell a story, so you're, you're commercial. Preston started showing signs of artistic ability when he was just three years old. At five years old, he beat out third graders in the annual PTA of Gallatin Art Contest. It's a natural, God-given ability. My father was a hobbyist painter, so that ability passed down, but it's one of those things that you always did it. But like any other talent, it's nothing unless you, you work it. Jeff's work can be found in a variety of different places, from biblical publications to some of your favorite monster magazines. That was my goal as a kid, to draw these, these monster magazines. Last year I got the Rondo Award, which is a fan-based award for the best cover of the year, and that was for the Dr. Fibes issue of Little Shop of Horrors. Jeff fine-tuned his talent at the Columbus College of Art and Design, taking the God-given gift and combining it with some classroom basics. I've always been a strong believer in you better get your traditional skills down first, then when you adapt to a computer, if you need to or have to, you're just changing paintbrushes. Because the bottom line, it's never, it's never the car, it's always the driver. Preston's pencils have now surrendered to the pad of a computer. Modern technology helps him create, but he says it's not the software making the swishes of the paintbrush. It's still him. I'm working on a, on a drawing pad, and the pen that I'm using is actually pressurized. So as I draw with a pencil on paper, I'm applying pressure to get darker line or whatnot. So these pins are so pressure sensitive and you can set the various angles of pressures. So you're replicating the feel of actually drawing. While technology has made the process faster and less messy, he says there's still nothing like his fingers being draped around a drawing tool and pouring his heart onto the page. When you do an original, it's in your hands. You, you can touch it, you can feel it's that tactile, uh, final product that you have. It might look good on screen, but there's, for me, there's just no replacing that. Jeff's hands are also good at holding a banjo. The finger acrobatics of banjo picking give him another creative release. He even played Beethoven's Fifth Symphony on it at the New York Society of Illustrators. While he loves to play music, he prefers performing on the palette. Your fans, or, or the fan base rather, that's your audience. You know, when we're drawing, we're performers. Our performance is on the paper. So that's what we're doing. You know, we're entertaining people. We rarely get to see their reaction, like an actor or a musician, but that's what we do. He's won numerous awards for his work, but one of his most memorable recognitions was a letter he received from a woman who saw one of his biblical illustrations. And I got a letter one time from a, a lady in Texas, and it was just a, a Sunday school uh, teaching picture, I believe. It, it was Jesus healing a leper. And I didn't think I did anything special on it, but that painting touched that woman in such a way, there was my audience. That was my standing ovation. From spooky to spiritual, 
Jeff Preston evokes emotion with his artwork. He may not always see the standing ovation or hear the applause, but he knows he's giving the performance of his life each time he picks up a pen, and he wouldn't have it any other way. As long as I'm illustrating, I love it all. As long as I can, I can get up in the morning and have a job in front of me, my day's already made. It's downhill after that.